Welcome to the Resistance. Pop culture is a tool of the oppressors used to placate the masses with frivolous tales of good overcoming evil and stories of toys that make people feel emotions. Resist the emotional weight of pixelated character arcs that lead tortured heroes on a path of redemption. Every single one of the movies the oppressor releases is terrible, and you must make sure to inform all of your friends of this fact. Trust me, they will love you for it. But the most egregious insult to entertainment is Star Wars. This is supposedly a tale of resistance overcoming oppressors. However, the supposed resistance featured in the newer films is anything but. The character Rey embraces a millennia-old doctrine created by religious zealots. They are led by an unelected monarch, Princess Leia, and they force the masses to throw away their lives in pointless combat. What are they even resisting? Some dark overlord is pointing a planet-destroying gun at your head? Boo-hoo, we have the same thing on our planet in the tailpipe of every fossil fuel burning car, and you don't see crusaders lining up here with laser swords. There's hardly any swords at all. Just because you oppose a dictator who somehow came back from the dead doesn't make you a resistance. Remember, that same dictator came from the government you claim to want to resurrect, you supposed Star Wars heroes. These films are nothing more than propaganda making you believe that an oppressive government is somehow given an excuse to force you into obedience just because they killed Space Hitler. It's time the true oppressors of the galaxy were made plain. The Jedi are the true evildoers of Star Wars, and everyone should know it. Resist the resistance! Down with the Force! The Mandalorians are just Republicans with shiny armor! Your task this week is to read my fanfiction.